Deathblade, Sidewinder, d d d d dairy. Watch time is over. It's heist time. Velvet Thunder. By a man in a yellow sweater. Push it. Push it. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. That's our home. This is for the G and me. Let's go. Get your party on with me. This is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, by the way. Lights out, episode 13. This is the season finale of season 7. This season has been surprisingly good. I thought season 6 was not the best. I thought it was basically just going to be continuously downhill from there. But season 7 has really come through with some great storylines. What happened to Doug Judy's wedding? Peralta's supposed to be the best man. What happened with that storyline? It just never got revisited? That is some bullshit. Brooklyn, peoples... What's going on? Where's episode 14, Doug Judy's Wedding? Give it to me. And if you're like, I want early access to these videos, give it to me. Well, you can get that at patreon.com slash fwci for $5 redos a month. And, uh, I mean, like I said, I've, I've been waxing lyrical about season 7. I think it's been a great season. That ha it, there has been some episodes that didn't quite hit the mark for me for a variety of different reasons. But for the most part, I've been enjoying this very short season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I think... Most of the episodes in Season 7 were good episodes that were enjoyable to watch. So I'm keen to see this season go out on a high note. So let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 7, Episode 13, The Finale. It's not called The Finale. It's called Lights Out. Lights are on. This is for the G and me. Let's go. All right, let's go. They're bike-powered mobile bars that are very popular with bachelorette parties. But unfortunately, they have led to a dramatic increase in the rarely seen case of female public urination. Resist. <laughs> Can I take a maternity leave? Are you giving birth to a baby? I'm having a seven-pound mass removed from my abdomen next week. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Let's give him some maternity leave, I reckon. You guys decided on a name yet? We're not telling people. Oh. Yeah, what are they going to call it? Him. Uh, what was that? Lights. <laughs> oh, nope, shit. it immediately turned into a purge. Way to go, New York. All right, let's suit up. Uh, oh, man, that's crazy shit. All right, so this is the second thing that I've watched with Stephanie Beatrice um, in a city with a blackout. Shout out to In the Heights. Yeah, what are they going to call their baby? Doug Judy. It better be Doug Judy. If I'm not getting Doug Judy's wedding, then we're naming the child Doug Judy. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, or that, or we call it Bob from Schitt's Creek. Engage blackout protocol. I'm surprised. Those guys are really springing in there. <laughs> what food are you saving, guys? <laughs> out later, just start chewing. I thought they were going to go find some food or stash some food, but no, nah, let's eat it before it goes bad. Anyone, we're stuck in the elevator. No. Use those big, strong lungs you're always flexing. These are my <laughs> so this is all just for show, then. It has no functional purpose. I mean, I am pretty strong. Good, then rip those doors open. Yeah, Terry, rip the doors open. Let's go. <laughs> Testing on city elevators every five years? <laughs> oh my. Oh. That was the last time I read the municipal code before bed. But... <laughs> Don't read the municipal code before bed when you're a child or as an adult. Come on, Terry. <laughs> you can do that. But that's Sergeant Peanut Butter's unit. No one wants to work with that condescending dick. <laughs> He's still around? Jesus. And hurry. Wow, look at my pregnant wife taking charge. I don't know whether to be proud or turned on. I said hurry. Oh my God, it's both. <laughs> I must have been drunk. There was an empty bottle of Bach on the floor of the car. Okay, Charles, I see two. Oh, who was it? Who was it? Who was the drink driver? Nicolaj? No. Bob from Schitt's Creek? <laughs> Charles, you're not Wolverine, okay? You can't sniff your way through this, bub. NYPD, hands up! Stop being weird, Charles! Charles! What if we combine them? Wrap the ice cream in the ham like a taquito. This man, this man is my best friend. <laughs> I love him, love him. We don't get cases thrown out. I need a pair of sweatpants and check again on that status update from ESU. All right, go. <laughs> what was that second last thing there, Santiago? My water just broke, which <gasps> reminds me we should be prepared to distribute emergency water and food. 
Oh, shit. I'm excited to meet your baby when it's clean and wearing clothes and not blasting out of you like some half Cuban Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Is that a contraction? No. <laughs> yes. That was just a crazy yawn. <laughs> yeah, what's up? You gotta get back here right now. Amy's water broke. What? What? When? When? Did she lose her mucus plug? Did she lose her mucus plug? <laughs> Fucking shut up, Charles. Oh, he's gonna piss me off on this. He's been good this season. Bloody, was it the bloody show? Jake, I think it's very cool that you learned this very progressive. Charles, I think you know you crossed a line. Just get back here. Thank you, Rosa. Friends call me Dottie. Although these days there are fewer and fewer of them. Yeah, Boyle. Have a chat with Dottie. Oh my god, they got a perp in there as well. All the dad needs to do is to make the money and have a nice thick belt for when it's time to teach him a lesson. My dad oh, hit me with the Dottie. belt. As soon as I got big enough, I shot him. Wow, what a fun group for this. The most important day of my life. <laughs> I teach him dance moves. Or kind of dance moves. Mostly 80s hip hop. He loves salt and pepper. No, I won't be doing that. <laughs> You teach him any 2004 West Side Connection dance moves? Wait, is Holt about to learn salt and pepper dance steps? Let's go. What song are we doing? Push it? It's gotta be Push It. Maybe it's What a Man. Those they won't go back to their own country. Daddy, I really wish you weren't such a big part of my son's birth story. <laughs> I kind of agree. Remember to tell your son what Chi Chi did here tonight. How are you feeling about Chi Chi having said it out loud a few times? I am loving it. Chi Chi. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> Non-emergency communications down to a... <laughs> Amy, just make the noise. You're not fooling anybody. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Rosa is such a good friend. She's really come through a few times for Amy throughout this series. All right, we'll bring him with us to the precinct. Someone can help him there. That'll slow us down. Yeah, but we should oh. still make it as long as nothing else goes wrong. You know what? And Jake is um he's got his own personal thing going on oh my god she fucking shot him what are you doing Dottie? peralta's being very selfless is the point i'm trying to make <gasps> oh my god <laughs> hang on is this doug judy's wife i'm still not over that wedding thing i'm two years sober what no you're not you got drunk and crashed into the power plant yeah that was a relapse i fell off the wagon Wait, what? Oh, so what the hell's going on here? I just drank too much and that was- Oh, she's fingering my wound! Oh, oh Dottie! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! He told me he's Aquaman. Bit of a stretch, but welcome to the team, Luis! Let's do it! <laughs> Peralta, this is insane. If you're page 53 in front of me, our relationship will never be the same. Make sure you don't look at page 214. What? Why? <laughs> now all we need to do is run it all together and do it at full speed. I must say, Jeffords, this dancing is quite distracting. I've completely forgotten. Let's see it, Holt. Let's see it. You are thrusting your butt enough. God, I love that note. Whew. Back to the top. I'll count us in. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. You better give me that at the end, show. <laughs> oh, the lights are right. on! Spank that bottom. Spank that bottom. <laughs> We will never speak of this again. <laughs> oh, can we speak about it one more time? I want to see it. So there's a backlog of perps on the third floor and I have to go to the hospital because my water broke. There it is. <laughs> ah! We can just catch up after the baby comes. <laughs> it was great acting there by Melissa Fumero. Herb, and then we stopped a bank robbery. And I lost my shoe. And Kayla lost her shoe, but we're almost to <laughs> the hospital. Are you there yet? What room are you? That's our birth story! Oh, screw your birth story! Just get here! <laughs> Santiago. I love it. Can we have a second? Yo, I'm kind of in the middle of something, you... Whoa! Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> you're set! <laughs> We know how to create a relaxing space in a police. Well done, boys. Even after that outbreak from Hitchcock. That's illegal, Brianna. Oh, you know you love it. <laughs> Brianna, have a drink of water. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> Don't drink more water. I didn't want to have to do this, but there is someone I can call. Hello, peanut butter. Wow. 
want to. How is peanut butter gonna help? Oh my god, Bronx is gonna ride peanut butter. <laughs> wow. You know what, Boyle? That was quite the sacrifice for you, from you. I know you really don't like Sergeant Peanut Butter at all. Did you come out with any new binders recently? I don't want to talk about binders, Rosa. All right, that was my big gun. She's just going to feel this. <laughs> I was just checking to see if there's anything we can do to help. And I hate this. A distraction. A distraction. Push it. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Booty's back. Booty's back. Booty's back. Hair comb. Hair comb. I <laughs> got <laughs> Oh, Rosa was so good then. Oh, fucking hell. Yes. I'm satisfied with that. That was good. No, it's okay. I got this. I can close my eyes, right? Keep them open. No. I'm going to see the birth of my. Oh, oh, we're on page 53. Babe, we're on page 53. <laughs> well, we did it, Ames. Well done, guys. Now, what are we gonna call this baby? Nope. Doug Judy. <gasps> Caleb! Are we gonna call it Caleb? I mean, this entire day felt like a warning from the universe. I almost missed the birth. We had our baby at the precinct. Nah, you're being silly there, Peralta. Helped a bunch of people and foiled a bank robbery. Exactly, exactly. Peralta, you did a very good job His today. Mom managed a citywide emergency. And so did. Santiago, you both did. Yeah, well, I, yeah, good point. I love you. Love you too. Oh my God, he's beautiful. Chi Chi, what's <laughs> going on? Charles, meet Mac. Short for McLean. McLean, <laughs> like Die Hard. <laughs> Don't thank me. The real hero is Lieutenant Peanut Butter. <laughs> That's right, Lieutenant Peanut Butter. <laughs> I know it wasn't easy for you. It's worth it. I'm Auntie Roro. She gets to be Roro? Yes, she does, Boyle. Uncle Charles. Captain. What the fuck did he say? Seven years wait for this. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Holt and I did a hip hop dance routine. Oh. I see. <laughs> yeah, Peralta, you did miss it. I am holding my son. <laughs> There's nothing more important in the world than that. I have a video if you want to see it. Amy, hold this baby. Rosa, give me that phone. Give me that phone. <laughs> Amazing. That was a really, really enjoyable finale of Season 7 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. They definitely went out on a high note. They had the storyline of um, Santiago's pregnancy. And yeah, you know, I should have obviously realized that she was going to have the baby in this episode. She was super duper pregnant in the last one. And uh, that still caught me by surprise because, you know, I just come into these things. I try not to like speculate or think like literally when i read the episode title in the intro that's the first i'm even reading the title most of the time although i might get a glance before but like most of the time that's just me going all right this is all i know about it is the title i don't read the blurb or anything like that so that episode there was a lot that went on in that peralta's story was very very cool i like that he was just you know accumulating more um responsibility and obligation as he's trying to you know urgently get to see the birth of his child and uh and they really did a good job maybe for most people they saw this coming but the conversation they had at the end about you know are we going to be any good at this and then gave them both a chance to reflect on what they had actually accomplished each independently during this absolute crisis i thought that was a very uh touching way to tie in the responsibilities of their jobs, who's, who they are as a person, the world that the show is set in, like just everything kind of came together in a really sweet moment there with that conversation there at the end. Uh, Boyle, Boyle. People love Boyle. I don't mind Boyle sometimes. Give me cool Boyle or give me Boyle from a couple episodes ago when he was just like really, really like switched on and like good detective or whatever. I like that Boyle. Boyle was insufferable at the start of this episode and and all the way through until the very end when he stormed out saying, waste seven years for this. <laughs> Come on, Boyle. But even though he angers me, he angers me in a way that I'm entertained by. He's, I never feel like the Boyle jokes are not funny. They just, the, the type of cringe that Boyle is just kind of 
weasels its way through my um, my defenses and just hits me right in the feels. Like, oh my god, oh, that just something about that just really, really kind of triggered me. But it's all entertainment, and I love it. And I love the character of Boyle throughout this whole series. Even though I say I hate him, and he does genuinely get on my nerves, he's still a uh, crucial member of the uh, of the 9-9. Holt and Terry's little storyline, I thought that was good. They uh, factored in the blackout with it and uh, then made that storyline relevant to the birth at the end as well. And that amazing punchline of Peralta sitting there with his newborn son in his hand and all he can think about is what song did Terry and Cap, what song did Holt learn a dance routine to? And I love the fact that that was where we ended this season on that note of beautiful moment but Peralta is still obsessed with, you know, hip-hop. He's still obsessed with Captain Holt. He's still obsessed with seeing him be less robotic. And uh, it was just a very... Um, it feels like a very full circle way. But I have 10 episodes left of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I'm going to do my best to enjoy and savor these last 10 episodes. I'll still be doing them every week as, as normal. Two weeks early on Patreon at $5 reduce. You know the drill. I know that there's not going to be infinite episodes of this. Especially with Andre Brewer. There's never going to be another chapter to the Brooklyn Nine-Nine saga. Especially for... Uh, in particular for Captain Holt. So I want to really um, enjoy this last season. I've heard conflicting um, opinions about it. I've heard people say that it's very um, serious and it gets quite political, but I'm going to look at the glass half full and enjoy Andre Brewer in the role as Captain Holt uh, for 10 more episodes. And then we are going to get into what we do in the shadows There's, uh five seasons of that 10 episodes per season i'll do the first season and then sort of make a decision from there but i did pick it because if i am enjoying it it's 50 episodes in total that's like at least something that i can start and then finish so the first episode of that is actually going to be going up next week before i do brooklyn 99 season 8 um, and the whole idea of that is just to get the first episode up there on YouTube so people can find it, they can subscribe, and then 10 weeks from now when uh, I do start doing the rest of the episodes, they will be subscribed already and they can join along. So you're going to see a random What We Do In The Shadows pop up and I'm just going to stop talking because most people are going to be watching this when this information is completely out of date and doesn't mean a fucking thing. But majority of the views on these videos do happen in the first couple of days. So I appreciate all the support everyone. Thank you so much. Make sure you go to patreon.com if you do want early access to Brooklyn, Shits Creek, Taskmaster movies. There's movie polls on there. There's full length versions of Taskmaster on there as well. But thank you for watching this video. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.